What's up you guys? Eat this mystical child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. Wanted to let the car go by. Hope all is well with you. Shout out to my subscribers and visitors, new and old. Today's title is Who Currently Like You? So we're going to see who like you emotionally in a love way. So, take what apply and leave the rest. The timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And we have three pals here. So, for pile one, we have this deck. For pile two, we have this deck. And for pile three, we have this deck. So again, pick your pile, meditate on your pile. And I'll see you in pile one. Okay, pile one. If you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully this reading is useful. And shout out to my subscribers, new and old, and the visitors, new and old. The title today is Who Like You? Who Currently Like You? This is supposed to be a romantic reading. We're going to see all the confusion that just happened literally in the last 15 minutes of me setting this reading up. Whoever this person is. They toxic, and they devilish, and they don't want this information to come out. So, take what apply and leave the rest. So, these oracles here is describing this person. It could describe you, but I pulled on their energy, so this is who it is. So, this person could be somebody that's a business owner. It could be your business partner. It says your partner in reverse, so it has to be an ex. It has your partner in the upright. And then it has somebody watching from the sidelines. And I'm quite annoyed with this reading already. I'm not going to even lie. I'm quite annoyed with this energy. Somebody here wants to tell you sorry. This person have noticeable feature here. They come from the overseas, from the islands or somewhere other than America. This person likes to dye their hair unusual colors for some of them. And this person could be a page of cups. So they could be a Scorpio. So this could be somebody who's moody. Somebody that comes across emotionally like immature or naive. Somebody who could be creative. Somebody that comes around kind of pleasant, but it's like a, a childish type of pleasant. It's like, you know, if you understand that energy. So um, this person could be a Virgo as well. And if this person, because it has your partner in reverse, if this person was your ex, this person was the type of person who dangled truths or dangled this relationship in your face or there was a shapeshifter. And this person is somebody that needs a background check if you're going to be with them because this person is a person that, you know, you would like to know about this person. Whether you do a background check professionally or just do it yourself. Like, get to know who this person is because this energy is, yeah, hopefully it changes. So, uh... Let's see why this person is sorry, being that, you know, this energy came out. What deck am I going to use? I'll use this deck. But I'm not going to let this person energy. You see how these cards just want to fly out and just do the dumb shit? It says separation and longing. It's all avoidance and stalemate. So somebody, you guys are in separation, they longer from you. You avoiding them. There's a stalemate here. You don't want to be bothered with them. It's like... Yeah, you don't want to be bothered with this person. But again, like I was saying, I'm not going to let this person fuck up my energy. This person could be an energy vampire as well. Like to do things that aggravate people or to get a rise out of people. So clarify this, I'm sorry. Somebody didn't take a leap with you. Remember, I'm talking about your ex, this old person. Not to say you want to hear about them. But being that they popped up and this energy is so off. It's like, clarify this. I'm sorry with this leap. Somebody, it says, until death tears apart. This person have karmic ties. And this is the type of person that stays in relationships. Even if they're not happy in this relationship. Somebody could be a Capricorn or this is a karmic situation. This is in reverse. So it says autumn, harvest. So this person wants to start all over, being that this is in reverse. This person, I don't know, for some of you, you don't want to take them back. This person haven't grown, grown any. 
at all. And they haven't have they don't have any new intention. So this person is basically the same. So I'm gonna come off of that person. Clarify this person watching from the sidelines. Who is this person watching from the sidelines for Power One Collective? Memories and this person is just is nostalgic. So somebody's spying on you because they feel nostalgic. They ruined this relationship and they feel nostalgic. I don't want to do this this reading, to be honest, because I don't want to sit in this energy, and I, I don't want to talk about this person. I don't. So, hold on for a second. And you see how this sage just took off? I mean, it took off. It's like, oh, gosh, hold on. Okay, pile one, the Taurus came out, but it came out in reverse, so somebody could be a Scorpio, like I said earlier. This person could be a tower reader, so they somebody that delves in spirituality or being that they stalking you, they getting readings on you. It says a secret mode playing both sides. So, okay. If it's a secret mode playing both sides, I'm going to clarify that real quick, see what comes out. If nothing comes out, I'm going to just focus on your partner. Who's the secret mode playing for both sides? Somebody in confusion, somebody deceptive, somebody that's codependent. Somebody that could be a Pisces. Ugh. Clarify this mole and this confusion. Somebody in a comfort zone. Somebody clinging to their south node. They are not maturing. And the way these cards just flew out, again, somebody, these cards came right back out. Look, it's wild. You see me shuffle them? I'm not talking about this, though. So if you want to know about that, I'm sorry. I'm not sitting in that energy. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not doing that. So I'm going to focus on your partner. I may go back to that at the end for y'all who want to know about this ex. I, I don't know. But right now, I'm not focusing on that person. I just can't. The energy is too fucking disgusting for me right now. So let's use your deck. Well... Being that this ex came out and they energy want to be seen, let's talk about them. So I could tell you about them, which I'm sure you already know about them because they're your ex. And then we're going to move on. Why is this ex here? Why is this toxic energy here for power one? Because this person is self-righteous. They condescending. They act spiritually superior than others, a.k.a. this tower reader. This tower reader. This person is a joker. They they, they all jokes. It's, it's nothing new with this person. And it's distance. You separated yourself from this person. And they want to rekindle the passion. But mature. Grow up. Maybe somebody will think about you if you grow up. Ugh. It says all games... Insecure, having fun. Again, they childish. Okay, so we're going to come out of that. So, again, I'm not sitting in that. And then they're in a dream world. It's a fantasy. It's an illusion. Okay, so let's go to your partner. Let's clear this energy. Get some good energy going. So this is why your partner like you. The partner that you are with now, that appreciates you, that's not toxic. So, I don't know. This probably res resonates for a handful of people. I don't know. Why does um, Power One partner like them? This person, your partner, think that you captivate them. So you're somebody that's very striking in looks. You're very good looking. Some of you could have, like very alluring eyes or very piercing eyes, very seductive eyes. You got bedroom eyes. You're somebody that just, you look good overall. I'm getting like grounded energy. Somebody that could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Somebody that is very, somebody that rests in a feminine energy or you somebody who could do a lot of things. You somebody that have your life together. It's like if you're in a relationship, you don't need this relationship. It's a relationship you want. So this person is just in awe with you. You really captivate them. 
Says you fancy, huh? So this toxic person bled right back through. Again, we're not focusing on their energy, so too bad for them. Says your love is priceless, no lie. So your person that you're with now think your love is priceless. They love how you love them. They love how you show up for them. They love that you are somebody that is very abundant and grounded. Somebody that's nurturing and caring. Somebody that's supportive. Clarify Power One's partner, the one they with now, that's into them. Why they like them. So this came in reverse. It says, can you be my child's godparent? So uh, it's in reverse because, of course, you can't be. Well, this person could have a child. And they want you to be the, um, the child's, like, mother or godparent. But being that it was in reverse, this person would like you to be their child's mother. They would like to have a child with you because, like I, I didn't say, but it's giving impress energy. You're very abundant. You're very fertile. It says you're thoughtful in any way. Thoughtful in every way. So you could cook. If you cook for them, they like your cooking. If you're somebody who could fix things, you're very good with your hands. They appreciate that. If you fill up their car, this is like something thoughtful. Or if you out shopping and pick up things for them, they like that. If you watch TV shows together, they like the fact that you take them and want to watch them with them. You feel like home to me. So I appreciate you. Look, I appreciate you. I appreciate this person who appreciates you. For real, for real. I'm not even being sarcastic. So let's see a little more about your partner. Why does Power One partner like them so much? You the divine feminine. <laughs> I told you, I felt that Empress energy. You very divine. Your body looks good. You somebody that's very shapely. And it's not just like they like your body. They like what you represent. They like your femininity. They like that you can rest in your femininity. They like that you can feel safe in your femininity. Some of you like to take pictures with them, or they like your photographer, or they like to take pictures of you. If they have pictures of you, they like looking at your pictures. Some of you, with this bluff here, some of you know how to call your um, person's bluff. You somebody who know how to challenge your person. They like that. They appreciate that about you. You somebody who know how to wrangle them in if they get the little too deceptive or if they just step out of line with you you somebody who could put them back in a place you somebody who don't have to be like under them all the time you're not codependent you somebody who know how to have solidary time by yourself you somebody that could be a popular loner You also somebody, being that you and your divine feminine, you are somebody that won't let a person play in your face. You will walk away from this person. You will stonewall a person. They like that about you. Seems like you're balancing your feminine energy and your masculine energy. They like the fact that you like to have good times. You know how to let loose. You know how to let your hair down. You know how to enjoy the moment. Some of you, you excite them. Or you a person that bring excitement to them? Tell me more about why. Some of you, you are somebody that is considerate when it comes to time. Like if they want to take you out on a date, you're very considerate when it comes to that. If this is a guy, this person is like, some of them look at their watch or they just wait for the time where they could spend time with you. Some of you have a certain time where you come off or you have a certain time this person contacts you or whatever. They watch, they clock and try to um, be very aware of that, very considerate, or considerate of that. So it seems like both of you guys consider each other time. This person liked the fact that, like, you're very lustful. 
or they lust after you. Some of them look at the time to think about the next time they could be with you, the next time they could have sex with you. They love your sexual energy, a.k.a. your divine feminine energy. Um, they like the fact that you lure you. They can, be they can believe you. They can rely on you. You're somebody trusting. You are like their best friend and they love it all in one. And this is something they like. This is something that some of them need. If this is the type of person that needs to be lonely and need to take time to clear their head or go off and do their own thing or hang out with their friends, you allow them to do that. You don't. It's not like you allow them to do it because no one have really could have control over a person. But you don't give them any pushback with this. You open for this because some of you have your own life as well. You challenge this person as well for some of you. They like that about you as well. Some of you are very detail oriented as well. Why how one captivates their partner? The loyalty came back out. Some of them, they cling on to your energy again with this time. They wait for the time where they could be around you. When you're not around them, it's like they still feel you. If they, 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 they have a, a, this thing where they try to stay in a moment of like not letting you escape out their mind. Or if they're having a, a hard time, if they're having a, a stressful t a day, they think about you and it brings them comfort. Clarify this loyalty. I gotta get to your deck. What time is it? Damn, I'm on 17 minutes and I haven't even pulled out your deck. No, see that toxic energy coming back out. We're not doing that. Clarify this loyalty. Why does Pow one person like them? Even though loyalty explains itself. You ten toes down for this person. They could trust that you would never turn on them. No matter. Look at this. You have the eight of swords and then you have the ten of wands. And this is the opposite energy. Swords and then um, swords and then wands. You a type of person with this loyalty. No matter how much stress this relationship. Not in a toxic way. But you able to see your thing you able to see things through no matter if you this is the type of energy that if you have burdens and there's problems where you feeling tied in your head and stuff like that being that this loyalty energy is here it's like they don't have to worry about you running off for them you always come back to kind of clear the air to talk to them to try to talk it through to try to see where this can um where this can change because this is somebody in mental prison so yeah, you will, some of you, you are the type that will help them break free of their mental prison. If they're a type of person who gets stuck in their head and think a lot when things get hard for them, you are there for them. You are somebody that's there for them. Yeah, people try to betray them because this energy keep coming in. You lawyer, you, you're not going to betray this person. Being like this Ace of Wands is here. This person, again, if things blow up, no matter if things get out of control, blow up, they know that you're loyal. You're somebody that's going to always bring romance. You're somebody that has a, a um, you use your intuition. You're very intuitive. You know when this person is going through things intuitively, so you could be there for them to get them out of their head and to let go of their burdens if they try to withdraw and don't talk to you. You know that they're going through this and you help them out. So, I'm going to Pow 2. If you've gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. And hopefully this toxic person will try to come to Pow 2 because I'm going to block them. Till next time in Tarot Land. Pow 2, if you pick this deck, this year reading, shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. And hopefully you could get some messages from this reading. Take what apply, leave the rest. The title today is Who Currently Like You. If you're a visitor, welcome. Return of visitors, welcome back. Um, if you haven't gone to Power One, there's messages in Power One for you because your partner's here. 
I'm not going to harp on that because I spent a lot of time in power one on that person, just focusing on them directly. So you have a church member and you have a Sagittarius here. So this person who likes you, likes, can be athletic. They could like to play um, football or they could like to play soccer or they're just a sporty person overall. They lived in more than one country before. They will come in your life when you least suspect it. Their first name could begin with an A-E-I-O-U, maybe a Y. This person have dreams about you. They could have allergies, some of them. So for your partner, I clarified them. So your partner have a concern, and a concern is about the family room, and then you have a message. So some of them could be concerned about you moving in with them if you don't live with them already. Somebody's um, birthday could be on a 30... Let me see, the 23rd to 21st of any month, or they could be born in July of any day. They could be born in March, or they could be born in May. So, yeah, it seems like they're concerned about this. Let's clarify it. Clarify this concern. Why is this concern here for this partner, for Pal 2? You have the Ace of Wands, and then you have the Seven of... My stomach is rumbling. Hold on for a second. Okay, sorry for that. You have the, like I said, the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Stars. So the Seven, hold on one last second. Back with the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups here. The concern here is that this person feel like you don't want to move in with them or you wouldn't want to move in with them. Some of them have a house and they have a nice house. Or you guys can have a nice house. Take a house with plot because it's like, who likes you? So, they think that you have a lot of options. You have a lot of options to pick from. And you are, you are somebody that's like, like to take action. You, like some, you seem like somebody who don't want to be tied down. Like tied down to where you want to live with this person. They see that you are determined. You have a lot of will. So, they don't know how they're going to bring this to you. Clarify this family room in this courthouse. They feel like this may bring conflict or like chaos to this um, relationship because it's going to be a change. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Stars. They want to bring this to you. They want to offer this to you, but they're concerned about it. They don't know how you're going to accept it for the ones who don't live with them. Clarify the family room. Why is the family room here? How one was just so toxic and everything. It seemed like it took up all of the time. It's like this now is the eight of cups. Some of you could have walked away from this person. Or they feel like you're going to walk away from them. When they bring this up to you. So go to power one again. for Because I... That, Power one is, is, is just all about this partner. So I have limited time here, so I'm going to go to the church member. This church member thinks that you are a gift, and the message is here again. So there's a courthouse is indicative of a message. So with this 23, 23 equals 5. So this person, I don't know. They don't know how you're going to take this. They just don't know how you're going to take this. But moving on from them, with the church member, this church member want to bring you a gift. They want to contact you. They want to let you know that you are a gift. They want to bring a gift to you. This is why they like you because they look at you like you are a gift. You are somebody that could be like somebody they feel is a gift. Their birthday could be July 17th or August the 7th or the 17th or the 7th of any month. The initial C, M, and E could be important to you. Clarify this gift and this message. Why does this church member like Pal 1? The sun, you can bring them nothing but happiness. <laughs> they look at you as the yes card, like you are the sun. You're very successful. They look at you as a friend. Some of them want to be engaged to you. They think that you have a lot of strength. You have a lot of vitality. You have broken down a lot of barriers in your life. You are somebody who just exudes sunshine. No matter how cloudy or no matter how destructive the energy around them could be. You always bring them happy times like your pure joy. I like that. What's this message about? The temperance. They know they got to balance themselves though. They look at you as a spiritual leader. Some of you could be a Taurus or a Leo. 
They think that if they be with you, it's just open roads. It will lead to success. There will be no burdens. You wouldn't bring any burdens to them. This is why they like you. You have the four of pentacles. So you see how the four of pentacles is about holding back, being reserved. You are very reserved. Some of you are holding on to your um to your pinnacle is like you're not offering anything to nobody. So this is why they really look at you as a gift because it's like you being held back. They see that you are being held back, like you're holding yourself back. Some of you don't have a relationship. So let's move on to the Sagittarius. With the Sagittarius came sudden wealth and poverty. So it seems like somebody here is, I don't know. The six of wands. Somebody see you as successful. Somebody see you have a lot of money and they don't have a lot of money. You can help them. And this, this is Sagittarius. They feel like you can help them out of lack, out of their poverty mentality, out of their lack mindset. Somebody's birthday could be a Scorpio, a Scorpio or somebody could be born. Sep I keep saying, I want to say September, but not September. Somebody could be a Virgo or, or, on, a, or on a cusp of a Virgo and a Leo. Somebody here birthday could be 11 11 shit trying to get this out my head or 11 10 which is october the 10th or october the 11th clarify this poverty you have the three of wands you're somebody that delves in growth you're somebody that's very healing somebody that's nurturing somebody is watching you and stalking you clarify this poverty and then i'm going to power three you have the death that came out kind of in reverse. And then you have the strength. You have infinite abilities. Somebody strong Leo and strong Scorpio. You have infinite abilities. This person look at you like you can help them. Like you could get them out of their um, destructive ways. Because some of these people, this person over here could be scared of change. They have like a, a mentality that needs to change. And they're holding on to the past so you can help them with that. You can help them heal their destructive ways, they think. So this is why this person likes you. Ugh. I don't know how you're going to take that, but yeah. So one couple last messages, and then I'm going to go off the pal three. Clarify this. Um, clarify this Sagittarius and why they like pal two. Your charisma. They think you're very charismatic. You have a lot of charisma. You somebody that's charming, somebody that's graceful, somebody that very feminine. It's like you're so open that love flows to you. You just clarify the partner. Why does the partner love? I mean not love. I said love. Your partner probably love you on the love. It says apology. Never underestimate the power of a heartfelt apology. So I don't know. It's like that X energy want to come back in and I'm not dealing with that. It says avoid settling for less than what you deserve. So you're a type of person that don't settle. You're somebody that know your worth. Your partner likes that about you. So if you've gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Till next time, it's Okay, pile three. If you pick this deck, this is your deck. Shout out to you guys. Hope this reading is useful to you. And hopefully you will get some messages from it. Today's title is Who Currently Like You. So shout out to my subscribers new and old. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So in this reading, we have a boss. We have a business partner. We have your neighbor. And we have a roommate. So let's get right to it. Why does this roommate like you? This roommate like you because you must do a lot for them. Some of you speak life into this roommate. They appreciate all that you do for them. And they have a romantic, um, they have romantic feelings for you. They want to romance you. So this may come to you as a surprise. So um, some of you should be open to them because this would be a good relationship for you. We also have a Leo and we also have a Cancer. So one of them could be a Leo or a Cancer. The Leo came out strong in power one, and power one was just, the business partner came out in power one too. But, okay, let's go to the business partner and the boss. The reason why they like you, because they feel you their twin flame. They have a magnetic pull to you, and they are trusting this magnetic pull. 
they're hoping that it will guide them to you. They want to bring you a proposal or offer. You could go to Power One as well. There's a lot of messages over there. Um, they want to bring you an offer in the future. It may come to you as a surprise as well. Now you have a neighbor. Why your neighbor likes you? Your neighbor likes you because it's like you closed off. You somebody that's guarded. You somebody that don't let a lot of people around you. So it seems like you guys have boundaries. This person like you because you avoid rushing into relationships to fill void. So it's like you don't get in relationships just to have a relationship. You somebody that like exudes a happy presence. So they feel like you have you like happy with yourself. This boss, this business partner, they feel like you're a great team player and you grab life by the balls. This is why they like you and this is why they want to bring a proposition to you. So let's clarify it. Clarify this. <clears throat> clarify the neighbor. Why they like pal three. These two pop. Well, this one. It says king of cups. Because they see you as somebody very loving. Somebody mature. Somebody that's grounded in their love extremely mature some of them want to really marry you because it's proposal here and that card that king of cups have a veil like they get married clarify the neighbor what does the neighbor king of swords the neighbor could be a king of swords and you're a king of cups this neighbor could be somebody that's an air sign libra gemini aquarius somebody that come across rough around the edges somebody could have tattoos all over them somebody that's very masculine tell me more about this king of swords Six of Pentacles. They see you somebody that have money. Some of you saving up to um, spend money on your body to have surgery on your body. For some of you, if you had surgery on your body, they like it. But with the Six of Pentacles, they think that you have money. You very um, giving with your money. They look at you as a philanthropist. Clarify this business partner. No, let's go to the roommate because Power One has a lot of the boss and business partner. Tell me about the roommate. Why they like Power Three? Damn, it says judgment. They have a realization that they want to be with you. They realize that you're a person with pure intention. Some of them could have a past, been in jail before. Some of them had a rebirth and want to be with you. It says game over. So I don't know what that's about. Some of them like to play games a lot. Well, some of them could have betrayed you before, but now they see you as somebody that's very romantic. Somebody they want to be with in a romantic way. Clarify this roommate. Why do you like power one? You hear this Bob song said we'll share a room with the roof over our head. That means that you're in a room with them. We share a this person wanted you to chase them. Now they thinking about you. I've never seen this card as much as I use this. They thinking about you. Missing you, craving you, and a desire. So somebody that you, a roommate, this is how they feel about you. Hold on for a second. Well, this is the last messages. If you got something from it, like it and subscribe. Till next time.